A circuit breaker is a protection device that automatically disconnects the circuit from its power source when load current exceeds the device's current rating. Their purpose is to protect the circuit much like a fuse. If you'd like to learn more about how fuses work, check out our Another Teaching Moment video. Unlike a fuse, circuit breakers can be reset and used repeatedly. Circuit breakers are used in residential and commercial environments, on circuit boards, in automotive and industrial applications, and many other places. They are used in both DC and AC circuits. They come in many different shapes and sizes and have various voltage and amperage rating options. Let's go over some common scenarios that may trip a circuit breaker. An overloaded circuit could be caused by having too many appliances running on the same circuit causing excess current draw. A short circuit could occur in the appliance on the circuit board or from a wiring issue. Ground fault circuit interrupters, also known as GFCI circuit breakers, are commonly used in bathrooms, kitchens, and outdoor environments. These protect people by detecting a difference in the current supplied versus the current returned. Arc fault circuit interrupters, or AFCI circuit breakers, protect circuits from dangerous arcing, which can cause electrical fires. Let's go over some basic types of circuit breakers and how they work. With magnetic circuit breakers, current enters the circuit breaker, creating a magnetic field around the solenoid. The more current there is, the stronger the magnetic field becomes. After the tripping point, the magnetic field overpowers an internal spring to disconnect the contacts in the circuit breaker. Magnetic circuit breakers are not temperature sensitive, but they are voltage sensitive, so a DC model cannot be swapped for an AC model. Magnetic circuit breakers with a hydraulic delay function the same as a magnetic circuit breaker, except the core of the coil is sealed inside of a cylinder containing the piston and spring in hydraulic fluid. The delay is dependent on the viscosity of the fluid, these are used in applications with high inrush current to prevent tripping. Thermal circuit breakers have a bimetal element attached to one of the contacts. At the tripping current, the element will heat up and bend, thus opening the contacts and breaking the circuit. Thermal circuit breakers require ambient temperature compensation for accuracy, as they are temperature sensitive. Unlike magnetic circuit breakers, these are not voltage sensitive, so a DC model can be swapped out for an AC model. Thermomagnetic circuit breakers contain an electromagnet and a bimetal strip. The thermal portion of the breaker will trip when a low-level, long-term overload is detected, while the magnetic portion will trip quickly at high current faults such as a short circuit. Solid-state circuit breakers use a microprocessor or microcontroller coupled with a current sensor to sample the waveform and detect any overcurrent scenarios. The benefit to solid state circuit breakers is that their response time is much faster than traditional circuit breakers. Check out DigiKey's selection of circuit breakers ready for immediate shipment at digikey.com. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe.